is Tammy Lou and Sally Ann and we're here today to talk to you about the Olympics. If you didn't know they're going on over in London right now. Isn't that the thing they do in the Colosseum? Yeah maybe back in the ancient Greek and Roman days and now we have it all over the world. All over from the U.S. of A. all the way to China to London to I don't even know where else. Sydney? They did it there one time. Didn't they do it in Canada? I'm not sure. We just wanted to talk about some of the things that have been going on at the Olympics. In case you didn't know, it's thundering. It is thundering. This is the third time that London has ever hosted the Olympics. They are the first city to ever get to host the Olympics three times. So snaps for that. USA is the country that has gotten to host it the most. Really? Yeah, I think so. Cause you know, we have so many different states and stuff. Yeah. We're gonna talk a little bit about our favorite sport at the Olympics. We love gymnastics. Yes. Probably because we are girls. We are girls. And it's kind of a girly, well not a girly sport, but it's pretty. Yeah, it's very, you know, like dance, it's lyrically and Flowy. pretty. Yeah. yeah. We like that a lot. Fun fact about gymnastics, it was started over 2,000 years ago by the ancient Greeks. Yeah, it was. And another fun fact, women used to not be able to compete. I know it. I can't believe it. They didn't let women compete in the Olympics in gymnastics until 1928. Wow. Fun fact. Not really that fun because it's kind of sad. It's mean. Mm -hmm. Another thing that we like is the rhythmic gymnastics, which is kind of similar to the normal gymnastics, except for they do it with like balls and streamers. Oh my gosh, the streamers are my favorite. Yeah, it's it, it goes so high, and they go with the little streamers, and it's really pretty. If you have been watching the gymnastics by the women, then you would know that Jordan Weaver had a really bad day the other day. She did not qualify for the individual all around. No, she was really sad about it, y'all. Yeah, her teammates beat her and she was crying and yeah. upset and we just felt real bad for her. Definitely. She is the current world champion and so many people expected that she would, you know, go on to qualify right. to, to compete for an individual medal and I just feel real bad for her. But snaps to her for being world champion. Definitely, and snaps to Allie and Gabby for qualifying and going on to represent USA in the individual all around competition. Yeah, they're all gonna bring it home on Tuesday for the they team sure competition. Are. Yeah, another event at the Olympics that we enjoy watching is diving. It's so pretty and they make like no splash. It's like, jump off the high dive. And then they like curl up in a little ball underneath there. Yeah, but then sometimes they mess up and it's a big splash. Yeah, I know when I go swimming, I like to make as big a splash as possible. Me too. Cannonball! Woo! That definitely would not be allowed in the diving portion of the Olympics because, you know, size is important and the smaller the better. Yeah. Yeah, they wear those tiny little swimsuits. They're so cute. Yeah. I just want to squeeze them little cheeks. Yeah. Little cheeks. Cheeks. Another favorite of ours is the swimming where they go back and forth. And it's not just because those cute little swimsuits we were talking about. Because some of them are cute. I know I like to swim. Sometimes I go really fast. Not quite Olympic fast. Probably faster than Michael Phelps though. He's not having a great he time at the Olympics not doing as well. You know, in Beijing, he was like gold medals galore, like all kinds of records. Coming and out of his speedos. Yeah, and then you had Ryan Lochte that was like in a shadow, Definitely. you know, picking up a couple medals here and there, but still doing pretty well. It's flip-flop this year. So Ryan Lochte's like, you know what? I'm tired of being in your shadow, Michael Phelps. I'm gonna be at the top. It's my time to shine. I think Ryan Lochte is gonna bring it home. I think he is too. Michael Phelps needs to step up his game. Definitely. Cause you know, part of it's team effort. We gotta get all these medals for the US of A. Definitely. And Ryan Lochte can't do it on his own. No. I like being first. It's, it's the best. If you're not first, you're last. And if you're not first, you're the worst. Yeah. You might wanna check out manholes. YouTube.com slash manholes. I know they're going to have yeah. an Olympic video as I well. I think they actually even mentioned Ron Lochte in there. So, so you might want to check that out. See what they have to say about it. Yeah, him. we'll have a little link, you know, down below all over the place. You can find it. 
You may be asking yourself, how can I show my support for the 2012 Olympics? Yeah, well if you're like us and you know, you like the US of A, you can start off by wearing your team colors. Definitely, today I started out by rocking the red, the white, and the blue. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. I mean, it's already built in. Why not just use what you got? Yeah, well, I didn't have a red shirt, so I chose the uh, always southern red headband. It's cute, and girl. thank you, it's satin. I love it. It's satin. And then I'm wearing, you know, just a blue necklace. It's a little different than hers. Yeah. And a white t shirt. If those don't appeal to you, there are other ways that you can help support your team or just the Olympics in general. You can always go check out your local drugstore. They have Olympic products. We have a couple favorites like the CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. They're doing a special Olympic packaging on that. It's real nice. It's nice and white and clean and pretty looking. Definitely. And yeah, you should check it out because it's a good mascara and it's Olympic. Also, you'll note I have gold medals in my ears for my earrings. So there's all kinds of ways you can do it, but here's some fun ways you can do it with nail polish. Yes, you can always paint your nails either in the colors of the ring of the Olympics or you can do your team colors. Definitely. Or if you're super advanced, you can also do design. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. like the rings and stuff. Mm -hmm. Or you could even do like the logo of the London Olympics, which is yeah. kind of funny. And some people say it looks like some weird things. Like the Simpsons. I'll just let y'all look at it and make up your own mind. Yeah. Yeah. There's some fun nail polish. If you're too scared to be adventurous with the colors, you can just do the metallics. Right. Right. Butter London has some really pretty ones. It's the heavy metal trio. Yeah, they're like actually for the Olympics. They branded it for the Olympics. So you could go check those out and paint your nails. You could do all the medals at once. Yeah, because you know, matching medals, you don't have to do that anymore. You can pair and mix medals if you want to. You sure can. Yeah, they've got the gold, the silver, and the bronze. If you want to get really super Olympic-ish on your eyes, you can go get you some of the Milani Olympic Blue Eyeshadow. And you can rock the blue 80s eyes for yeah. the Olympics. I mean, if you don't have a necklace, you can just put it on your eyes. And I know you're thinking that the blue eyeshadow is from the 80s, but it's back. It sure is, y'all. If you're like, I just really want to go all out and wear the colors of my flag in the exact way the flag looks, you can go order some scarves that look like your flag. Yeah, I know we know of one specifically by Free People. It's a kind of a tattered, uh, faded a little bit American flag, and I think it's about $38. So it might be a little pricey, but we have an alternative. If that's too expensive for you, just check around your house. You might have an American flag laying around that you could just, you know, turn into a scarf. Right. So there you go. Use what you got. If it's too short to be a scarf, we can just tie it in our hair and do a little head bow. Totally okay. So we've given you options. You should have no problem showing your support for the 2012 Olympics and getting behind your team. Yeah. We hope that you enjoyed our Olympics 2012 video and you learned a few things. I did. I definitely did. Yeah. So now you can go forth. Okay. And watch the Olympics and support your team and just be cute and in style and patriotic. Patriotic. There you go. Go forth and be patriotic and go USA. USA. Woo. Woo. Let us know what fun facts you know about the Olympics because we'd always love to learn. Yeah. And what are you loving about the Olympics? Yeah, what's your favorite sport to watch? And everything she said. We'll talk to y'all in the next video. We sure will. Bye. Bye y'all. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thumbs up for the Olympics.